A sailing trip for five young people with autism. They need space for downtime and a clearly structured routine. Pool boys, pool. Usually they're anchored by the familiar. But everything's different here. No day like the last. It's cramped on the boat. Social contact is unavoidable. All aboard. The sailors board at Flensburg Harbour on the northern German Baltic coast. Daniel, Charlotte, Robert, Sören and Sebastian are welcomed by skipper Rollo. Go on, Daniel, or I can't get through. Experienced co-skipper Corinna is also on board to provide support and care. They've all been on sailing trips before. This is the highlight of Sebastian's year because all other participants live with autism, so he can just relax and be himself. In normal life, that's often difficult. The worst thing you can do is treat someone with autism as though they're mentally retarded. I don't have to say that often because usually people just regard me like they would anyone else. You don't notice it. It's not as if I'm wearing a sign saying I'm autistic. The crew casts off the following day. When you're done with that, we can set sail. Skipper Rollo runs through some basic safety precautions with Zuren. Such as reading the depth gauge, which shows that the water is almost seven meters deep at this particular point. Zuren also wonders where the boat is currently located and asks Rollo to point out the craft's position on the map. He also wants to know about the destination and what the crew plans to do there once they've arrived. Rollo explains that the boat will be crossing the border with Denmark. There they'll lay anchor and go swimming. This will be the high point of Zuren's trip. Autism comes in many different forms. That's why it's described as a spectrum condition. The breadth of that spectrum is also apparent here. The differences are more pronounced in some than others. Everyone ready about? You have to accept that all their lives, autistic people will never be like others, even if they're good at masking, and that we simply have to learn things that others register intuitively from others in the course of their lives, things that they've understood and absorbed without thinking about it. For example, interaction with others, why there's a certain way to talk to people in the society in which we live. Autism can affect communication on many levels. It's just something you're born with. To this day, no one knows what causes it, whether it could be some sort of change in the brain during the nine months of pregnancy, or whether it's down to external influences, or several factors together. No one really knows. Anyone needing some quiet time can find it below deck, when the rest of the crew are busy. It's a chance for Daniel to immerse himself in his drawings. Whenever I have a wobble or I have to withdraw, I don't do it intentionally. I'm trying to recharge like a battery so I can rejoin the group at some point. But I'm also trying to find myself. I'm trying to see how I can be a part of the team, how I can get more from myself. Is it warm? Yeah. 
<laughs> After laying anchor, Zirin's the first in the water. The 30-year-old always has his smartphone to hand, properly waterproofed, of course. He loves the underwater world and takes pictures as a document of his adventure. The sailing trip is a breath of fresh air for everyone and a break from the frequent bullying. Sebastian's school years were like running the gauntlet. Diese 15 Jahre Mobbing, die durchmachen zu müssen. Those 15 years of harassment, having to get through them, it cost me so, so much energy. I was on the floor. The sailing trip really balances me out. Here, all I think about is where we're sailing tomorrow, what we're doing tomorrow. I can just forget all the stuff that usually bothers me. Now the sun's there. It's precisely to the west of Los Angeles. In the evenings too, Zuren's phone is never far away. The device helps him explore his keen interest in numbers and geography. There's the north. It'd be in the northwest now. The correct date, we're in summer, and so it should be there. Up and down, like that. Then it's light in the north. But in September, it appears like that. Yes, look at September. Then day and night are the same everywhere. Hallo? Hallo? In New York is it It's not 11 minutes past 11 in New York. I had a signal just now. You need to buy new data. You'll have to help me find the signal. The next day, the Baltic shows its wild side. The choppy conditions don't suit everyone. Only Charlotte is unfazed. The weather's calmed down, but on board, the waves are still high. Charlotte and Rollo have locked horns over housekeeping duties on board. Unfortunately, Charlotte doesn't want to hear what the skipper has to say. Charlotte says the bathroom is far too filthy, but insists it's not her turn to clean it. For her, it's simply a matter of fairness. It's cramped on board and the sparks are flying. The main challenge is sometimes the patience that's needed, and that's not necessarily my strong point. It's not normally something that's going to cause a huge row, where you're going to say the next day, I can't stand that person because they were so out of order. It's not usually that bad. And despite the rows, we still look forward to seeing each other the next year. I reckon it's completely normal, something you'd also experience sharing such a small space with parents, relatives or partners. Everyone has their five minutes. And no one's really bothered here. There's no obligation to adapt or change yourself. Cooking's also a part of the daily routine on board. Cooperation is essential. It's a challenge for the crew. Can I just get in there? I need to wipe up the tomato juice. 
Sören, Basti, I need to wipe up the tomato juice. Thanks, Sören. Then I'll rinse the cloth out. Tastes delicious. Despite the problems, this is a supportive environment. Here the youngsters feel understood and not, as they so often are, marginalized. Und nochmal, und kräftig, und! So, und den Rest jetzt kurbeln. Setting sail for the last time. Compulsory on the last day of the trip, cleaning the boat from top to bottom. The crew has grown closer together. Nat, Nat! Sama! Was denn? Sama, I guess. You wanted water on the deck, now you have water on the deck. Go for it. On the final evening, the focus is the future and the subject of independent living. Perhaps next year Sebastian, Robert and Charlotte will have moved out. Sören, you too? I'd also like to move out of my parents' house, yes. I hope I can move out in 2024, 25. So you don't want to live alone, but with Peter? And with a girlfriend, if I have one, hopefully. At some point, you've got to cut the cord. A bit like when you're sailing. At some point, you've also got to learn to grab the wheel and seize the rudder and steer the ship yourself. Sailing a large ship together, the sense of belonging, that boosts their self-esteem, they say. An experience that helps them navigate the currents of their everyday lives.